I'm Mama with a Mocktail and today we're going to be making some hot chocolate mocktails. So to make these mocktails, I'm going to be using our Escape Mocktails non-alcoholic products. Our first hot chocolate is going to be with our peanut butter whiskey. Our second hot chocolate is going to be with our Frambois liqueur. And then the third hot chocolate I'm making is going to be with our Caribbean coconut flavored uh, liqueur. So we have over 20 different flavors that you can choose from. All of our products are non-alcoholic, zero proof. Uh, we tried to mimic the taste of alcohol, but we took the alcohol out, but we kept the flavor. Um, so when I was drinking, I used to enjoy a boozy hot chocolate, but now that I'm not drinking and it's cold outside, I thought it would be great to make up some yummy flavored drinks. So the first one I'm going to make is our peanut butter whiskey. So I took some milk and I took a spoonful of some peanut butter and I put it in the microwave for a minute and then I stirred it around. Next I'm going to add some chocolate. And then I'm going to take a shot of our peanut butter flavored whiskey and I'm going to add that. I'm going to stir that around. The peanut butter whiskey is really on the sweet side. Um, it actually doesn't use any peanut butter uh, in our whiskey. However, I did add some peanut butter to our hot chocolate here. So if you are nut free and you still enjoy the taste of peanut butter, this product here would be perfect for you. If you are making this hot chocolate, just don't add the real peanut butter. So I'm gonna give that a nice stir. Sometimes it's nice when your milk is a little bit warmer because everything um, definitely melts better. And I'm gonna pour that into my cup. And then what I did for the garnish is I took a marshmallow. My trick, because I don't have a campfire right now, is I like to put a marshmallow on a skewer then I like to turn on my gas stove, and then I just like to throw my marshmallow around there. So I would just add the marshmallow to the drink there, just to make it nice and pretty, and then you can enjoy that peanut butter hot chocolate. So my second drink that I'm gonna make is a white chocolate raspberry. So what I did for this one is I took some white chocolate chips, and then I actually took a skillet, and I placed the chips in the skillet, and then I poured in some milk, so it was just one layer of milk, and then I let it get warm, and then I stirred it. So I found this whisk worked really well to stir it in. It just made it more um, richer and creamier. So I have that right here in my glass. So this is my white chocolate that's melted. Um, depending on how chocolatey you want it, you can add uh, more chips or less chips. Um, then I'm going to be adding our Frambois, which is our raspberry flavored liqueur. So it had, has hints of um, red raspberries in it, which I think are really good. Maybe a little bit of chocolate in it. So I'm going to add a shot of that. Since I use white chocolate, I'm not going to be using any of the chocolates here. As you can tell, we really like to drink hot chocolate around this house because I have this ginormous container. It's probably one of the things we do every Saturday, most of the time, um, also on Sundays. So hot chocolate is a favorite around here. So I added the raspberry liqueur. I'm gonna give it a stir. It adds a little bit of a pretty red color to it. And again, because we like hot chocolate, we have to have our whipped cream. So for this one, I'm going to top it with some whipped cream. Woo! Made a bit of a mess there. And this is homemade raspberry sauce. Um, it's one of those things that my mom does for special occasions. Um, we like to put it over cheesecake. So you just take frozen raspberries and you add uh, water and sugar, depending on how sweet you want it. And then you strain out the seeds. So as you can tell, um, it doesn't have the seeds in there. But it's a nice flavor and it's just something nice to have that's uh, fancy and sweet. So I'm gonna drizzle that over our white hot chocolate. That looks amazing. All right, so our last drink that I'm gonna be making is our coconut hot chocolate. So I thought this one was really different, but I love coconut. So uh, when I sampled this one, it was something that I really enjoyed. 
So for this one, I took half a glass of warm milk and then half um, of the glass, I added some coconut milk to it. So it gives it that nice coconutty flavor. And then for even more coconut, I added our Caribbean coconut uh, product. Uh, it has a little bit of rum flavor in it. You definitely can smell the coconut in here. It's very delicious. And then again, since we're doing hot chocolate, I'm going to add the chocolate to this one. Stir that one up. What I would do is I would probably put this back in the microwave for about another minute because I really enjoy my drinks nice and warm. And then I'm going to add some more whipped cream. Let's see. It's probably going to make a mess again. Nope, there it is. I need to get some more of this from the store. And then to make it pretty and let people know that it's coconut, I'm going to add some toasted coconut there on top. So these are our three hot chocolates that I made for you. Again, they are all alcohol free. They still taste amazing and delicious. They're perfect for these um, cold winter months that we're having. It's a great drink at night if you want to cozy up on the couch, watch your favorite movie, or if you're going to be going on a ski trip um, and you want to serve something fun and festive to your friends. Hope you enjoy.